with this artwork, I really wanted to educate our young generation of why we really need to preserve our culture and focus more on our religion practices, culture practices. My name is Tenzin Rabiang and I'm the co-founder and creative director of Snowland Club and I'm also one of the artists in Snowland Club. Snowline Club is a group of collective where Tibetan artists come together and showcase the work of art to the world. Snowline Club, I would say, is a collective trying to bring Tibetan culture, traditions, history, all into, all into the modern setting of where we are today. Mike, Mike, only one though, right? It's actually a platform that we're trying to create for younger generation Tibetans who don't have that outlet or don't, like are looking for an outlet to express themselves through art um, and just having a safe place for them. Uh, for me, as a refugee and uh, being a minority here, uh, we don't have much opportunities uh, like an art show or a big community that serves a purpose of uh, art in Tibetan society. So thus, I want to take an opportunity to create a platform for Tibetan artists uh, to showcase their work. When we all get together and uh, go forward with a project or with a design, I believe we all share a point of view in what we're presenting and that I believe is uh, Mm, doing that, I feel like we're we're part of something bigger, and I feel like we're a family. I hope people show up. You know, I've been telling everybody like yeah, I went to Chile. I was like, there's an art show at 6 p.m. Come through. <laughs> With the Snowline Club, I I found an amazing opportunity to find other uh, people, other Tibetan people who think like I do, have the same interests uh, in visual arts, music. Uh, literature um, and create uh, art that represents us. My name is Tenzin Sering, um, or Tenzoni I could go by. My background is half Filipino on my mom's side, Tibetan on my dad's side. Um, I was born in India but raised in Canada, so I've always kind of felt a strange misplace in where I belong or where I'm from. Um, I don't feel connected to either culture, and I feel more Canadian but not Canadian enough, not like Tibetan enough, not Filipino enough in some ways. So I use my art to explore my cultural background. So far I've explored my um, Tibetan heritage on my dad's side, and I've been trying to explore more um, contemporary roots in both Filipino and Tibetan ways, um, mixing it into like Canadian art as well. I'm really interested in art history of the world, uh, from the cave paintings to Italian masters to pop surrealism to impressionism, and I've always felt that that gap where. Tibet is not represented, so represent representation is key for me, uh, identity is key for me. Tibetan traditional art sometimes is only devotional and it doesn't go beyond that. And um, you know, as, as contemporary artists of today, uh, we want to include everything and uh, explore all options. The Snowland logo that I designed is uh, truly represents the uh, event that took place in 1959. It truly shows how much Tibetan people have struggled through it uh, during 1959. The pattern of the lo logo waving down uh, tells about how our culture is fading away, um, and the splash of the splash of the red ink represents 
how much we have struggled through uh, time. So the situation in Tibet right now is, um, so the Chinese government, they're doing whatever they can to, to make their version of Tibet. Tibet has been an occupied country for more than 60 years now and there's always this talk about whether we're going to get full independence, whether we're going to find a system where we're going to live under China. Um, and I personally believe and I think we personally believe that non-violent ways such as art is an excellent medium to talk about this issue. There's a lot of youth in the Tibetan community in Toronto that need a hand, that need a hand, you know. They need someone to reach out to them, you know, um, and I feel as though personally there's that hand is not there all the time, uh, but we want to, as a collective, be there. The future is looking very bright. It's, it's looking amazing. Yeah.